Welcome to Ebonics Academy, where I teach you my favorite Sims 4 tips and tricks and Sim tutorials. In today's lesson, I'm going to be teaching you one of my favorite hacks, which is how to easily get your face paint eyes to apply to every single outfit. I don't know about you, but when I'm making a sim and I really love a pair of eyes and my favorite creators made a pair of eyes, but they've only made it in face paint and not non-default, I give the bombastic side eye. I really want to apply this eye to every outfit, but we are still in a time where sims have not given us the option to apply makeup and accessories to all outfits. So I'll choose this really nice eye here for Samaya, but when I go to another outfit, immediately the eyes have disappeared and it's just, I have to select it now for every single outfit. I can't be doing that. I, I don't have the emotional strength to do this for every single outfit and I know you can use MCC and all of that jazz or I can download eyes that come under the non-default category but I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So this is a really really quick tutorial on how to create your own um, or convert your favourite face paint eyes to scars and that will help apply to every single outfit. You can achieve this simply by using Sims 4 Studio to change the eye category from face paint to scars. So the first thing you're going to want to do is locate the eyes in your mods folder that you would like to convert. Um, I would recommend if you're using Sims 4 Studio for the first time, right click the package that you're using, go to properties and then change the opens with to Sims 4 Studio so that you don't have to go through this process every single time. And it also means that whenever you double click a package, it will automatically open in Sims 4 Studio. So here are the eyes that I have for my Sim Samaya. Here is the eye color and everything that I've chosen for her. As you can see, it appears under the face paint category. So what I'm gonna do here is change it from face paint to occult eye socket. This means that the eye will now appear under the occult um, eye section. And I've chosen this one particularly because we've got so many different skin details and kind of scars, new like new scars and new options to choose. Um, but I think the eye socket, the occult eye socket is easiest to find, easiest to locate for me. And we don't have that many mods or custom content under these sections at all at this point. We've got loads in skin detail, so it would have been really hard to find the eyes. So I've chosen a cold eye socket just for ease. Once you've chosen the section that you want it to um, convert to, you hit apply to all swatches and then confirm it. The category has been applied to all of the swatches, so it means every single swatch will appear in the game under the occult eye socket. And once you're happy that it's applied to all, you can then hit save. This also works if you wanted to change the ages that things appear under two. So if you have a pair of eyes that perhaps um, is only applicable for adults and you wanted it to work for your infants or your toddlers or your kids, you can also use this same technique to select the age flag and the gender flag so it appears under those categories as well. This technique doesn't work for meshes, so not for clothes, accessories, anything like that. That is a different process, but let me know if that's something that you would like to learn and I can teach you how to convert things between different ages. But this works with things like eyes, makeup, etc., etc. Anything that's not a mesh, this works for it. Right, you should have the save confirmation now, which means you're ready to go test in game. So the second and final part of this really quick tutorial is to test your newly categorized face paint eyes in game. Once you get back into game, make sure that you cancel out the face paint option. Then you go to the eye scars and you should then see your newly categorized eyes under eye scars. There they are. There are some Maya's eyes. Oh, the color is there because we selected all swatches to be converted. And now if we look, and we go to maybe change her um, outfit, we'll then be able to see that under every outfit now, it doesn't matter what outfit she's got, if she changes her outfit, the eyes will still say the same. I don't know why she's got this hat on, but yes, as you can see under every outfit, the eyes are there. Okay, so this is the do-rag, okay, purr. Okay, bonnet life. <laughs> But yeah, so the eyes are now gonna work under every category and honestly, it's one of the biggest game changes for me personally. 
as someone who hates having to go through every clothing option to select the eyes that I want to use and especially it lets me see using the thumbnail what particular eyes it is because I like to switch it up sometimes so this is going to be really really helpful if you are like me and need that visual. I'm going to leave you off with Miss Samaya whose face card never declines. Imagine, imagine the face card never declining. I see you girl, you better work it. That's all there is to it, babe. It's a really quick hack, but I hope it changes your create a sim experience like it has for me. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you know when I drop another video. And let me know in the comments what you would like to see and I can get you gathered, okay? Bye.